So if you need SEMrush explained or you're curious about what SEMrush is and what it does, this video is going to be perfect for you. As you can see on the screen, it allows you to get measurable results from online marketing. You can do SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and social media marketing just from one platform. SEMrush also comes with a free trial, so if you want to check them out, I'll include a link in the description. You can click on that and see if SEMrush is going to be the right fit for you. Now, aside from stating the obvious in the page, which of course you could have read yourself, allow me to explain SEMrush in my own words, then I'm going to show you some examples about how it works. So, this is an SEO software tool that excels in several key areas. While it can do a ton of things, here are some of the highlights. You can perform keyword research, you can discover numerous low competition keywords, you can run website audits to identify necessary changes, you can even find excellent backlink opportunities, especially from your competitors. In a nutshell, by using SEMrush, it's going to allow you to significantly improve your Google rankings for your website, which will help you generate more traffic, leads, and sales. Now, allow me to show you some quick examples. All right, so here we are on the inside of SEMrush, and I put in one of my websites here, and what I want to do is start by looking at competitors. This is important because we can get a lot of helpful information about how we can go about creating specific articles based upon what our competitors are targeting. So if we scroll down ever so slightly, we're going to see that we have the competition level here. So the higher, the better, obviously, overall, and some of the top ones are going to be some of your biggest competitors. In this example, I'm just going to go with Mark and Block. I am familiar with them, so I'm going to click on this right here. And what it's gonna do is take us to their stats, their data, how much traffic they get, and so on and so forth. Now, what I can do from here is simply go to positions, and this is gonna show all of the keywords that they are ranking for and the positions for them. It gets even better though. As you can see, this is gonna be the keyword difficulty, so the ones that they are ranking for that are a little bit harder. So if you were just getting started with SEO or maybe with your specific website, you're probably not gonna to wanna to create articles based on those keywords. However, what we can do is flop flip this, as I like to say, just change it around. All right, here are gonna be plenty of examples that you can utilize for your specific competitors when going in. Right off the bat, we have a lot of quick wins here. I can see why a few of these are gonna be very low competition, because for example, like the lifetime deal ended there. There isn't a lifetime deal here, but people will still search for that thing. And as we scroll down, we're gonna have a lot of different ones that we can specifically target and go after, allowing you to get those really quick wins, get up and running, and start seeing traffic a little bit sooner in the beginning stage, or heck, even if you're not in the beginning stage of your website, it'll allow you to get those much easier wins. For example, we've noticed that they are also creating content on specific software companies. So another one could be ClickFunnels. I know ClickFunnels is very popular, so something else that we can do. And now what I wanna do is go to the Keyword Magic tool, and I'm gonna be typing in ClickFunnels, of course. And the great thing about this, not only can we sort by the keyword difficulty, which we can do, there's also another way of sorting it right here. So if we wanna go for like the very easy stuff, we can click on this. And now we're gonna have a plethora of keywords that are gonna be much easier to rank. And if you look at these, some of these bring in a good amount of volume, especially for being a little bit easier. Like this is a perfect example, Kajabi versus ClickFunnels. They're both big kind of like all-in-one platform builders. They do landing pages, sales funnels, and memberships. So that is a very good keyword to go after. It's not gonna be in the easiest side because it is more towards like, you know, a little bit more difficulty. But nevertheless, if we scroll down this way, we're gonna see that there's tons of wins that we can go after in terms of creating specific articles on these keywords. And of course, you can do that for your niche, obviously, depending on what you are gonna be going after. But there's so much more when it comes to SEMrush. I'm gonna give you one more example when it comes to backlink analytics. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is enter in a competitor in here and click on analyze. We can go after some of their backlinks, see which ones are gonna be worth getting and so on and so forth. This is gonna once again, help you rank much higher in Google. Let's click on analyze. All right, and once we are here, what we wanna do is simply go to backlinks. And once that is loaded, here's the great thing about it. We can go after active, we can go after new, which ones have been lost. For me personally, I would wanna go with active because I wanna see which ones are still around, not the ones that have been lost in the past. I also wanna go with follow because we wanna get some link juice out of these, of course. And just by those specific uh, sections right there, these are gonna be like the authority score. So overall, it's gonna be a little bit more influential, generally speaking, the ones that are gonna be higher up. But we can actually go through and see where they are getting their backlinks. And of course, upon Upon doing so, you can go to their websites, do some outreach, see if they're still accepting backlinks, if they're writing articles to do, if they're doing guest posts, if they're paying for it, whatever it's going to be, just another great way to see what your competitors are doing and kind of one-up them in the process by getting similar keywords, getting better backlinks, and so on and so forth. 
In summary though, SEMrush is a very powerful tool for SEO. And in fact, it can be very important for beginners too, who especially wanna dive into SEO and start building their website's authority. SEMrush helps you identify what people are ranking for, target their easy wins, build traffic, find backlink opportunities, and so much more. By following some of the steps I talked about, you can certainly improve your rankings and grow your online presence by ranking higher up in Google. Anyway, I hope that this video helps you out when it comes to explaining what SEMrush is and how it works. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also include a link in the description where you can test out SEMrush for free. They do have the ability to sign up for free with them. And of course, if you want to carry on, there is the free trial that you can utilize as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.